It's Mr. Outlaw back again to talk about our favorite smokeless image products. And today what I want to talk about is the smokeless image cartomizers. This is an ROI 4 one. Uh, now the smokeless image cartomizers, or any cartomizers really for that matter, are a very easy way to vape, especially for new people. They're convenient. Um, all we have to do is we can buy either pre-filled ones or we can buy blank ones. You can fill them up with your juice and you can put them in your purse, put them in your pocket, put them in your PCC or your carrying case and you can walk around and you don't have to worry about carrying uh, bottles of juice and syringes and worry about them leaking. Now they do have their drawbacks which we discussed in the cartomizers, clearmizers and tanks uh, video and that's not really what I want to get into. What I want to get into is what makes the smokeless image cartomizers seem so much better than some of the other ones that are on the market? Why do they seem to vape better? Why do they seem to last longer? And most importantly, why is it that they seem like they don't burn as easily as some of the other ones that are out there? Um, now we touched on this briefly in the video that where I took one of the cartomizers and I turned it into a drip tube so that you can test juices. But I wanted to elaborate on that. So what I did was is I took one of the smokeless image cartomizers and I cut it, cut it in half or cut off basically the top with a Dremel and then I took one from another company that sells uh, a similar type of cartomizer um, to show you the difference and show you what makes them so much better. So let's start off with the other company's cartomizer, okay? And basically when I got started um, vaping, I didn't know the difference. I actually ordered a pack of these from another company thinking, no, oh, there's no difference. And it wasn't even a price thing for me. It was because I wanted colors so that I can organize uh, what juices and what cartomizer. Little did I know that there was a major difference and I wasn't even able to use them because after one tank, they immediately started burning and melting. So let's go ahead and open this up. And when you open it up, you're immediately going to see what's going on in here. Okay, now, this white thing here is your air tube. That is what we don't ever want to get juice down inside of. Okay, now if you look next to it, you see this metal wire coming up. Okay, this metal wire is your coil. Okay, that's part of your coil, and then right in the middle there the wire actually wraps around a little tiny wick okay and don't do this at home but just to show you a little bit better if we put this on my manual battery and I quickly just kinda heat it up you'll see it turn orange so you can see what I'm talking about okay see where it turns orange that's the part that actually touches the filler and heats it up okay Here's the problem with this. If you picture your filler, your filler is wrapped around this, like this. Okay, so what happens is, is when you heat up this coil, the coil is touching the inner part of the wrap. So your coil is touching right here. Okay, well what's going to happen is, is this part of the filler is obviously going to dry out first. And then just because of the action of the capillary action like a sponge, the other fill, the other juice will slowly go to the area that has dried out. But now the coil is in the middle of 
your filler. It's not on the bottom, it's not on the top, it's in the middle. So you have this top area, you have this bottom area that's not exposed to the coil, and then this is wrapped several times around, I think like four or five times. So all of these outside layers are not near the coil. So that means that when you vape the inside and the coil heats it up, now the juice has to flow from the outer layer into the inner layer. It's got further to travel, so it's going to take a little bit longer. Therefore, you can possibly get some dry heads. And that's why it's very important with these to keep them topped off. You can't let them get too dry because otherwise it's taking too long for the juice to get into the coil. Now, if you look at this one, you can actually see because of where the coil is, if you look on the air tube, that it was starting to melt. Okay, again, because of where your coil is. Okay, so now let's get into the smokeless image one. And just so you can see, this is, and again, I did take it apart. I've already cut it open, so now it fell apart. Let me put it back together here. And just so you can see that this was a smokeless image, cherry 6 milligram. Okay, so let's take off the part I cut off, and you can immediately see a difference. The only thing we see here is the air tube. That's the air tube that you don't want to drip juice in. Now the air tube is just kind of sitting on there. Your filler would have been wrapped around that air tube. So we pull it off and we can see the difference. There's your coil. Okay, so if we put it on the battery here. You'll see. See the orange glowing? That's your coil. So what makes it different? Okay, well, think about it. You have your you would have your air tube up here. Then you're going to have your filler, and it's going to be wrapped around the air tube. Well, what is the coil exposed to? It's only exposed to the bottom. It's not exposed to the middle. It's not exposed to the top. And it's exposed to all the layers. So if you think about this toothpick being your air tube where it's wrapped around, the coil is only here. It's not up here. So as this part dries out, the juice in all the layers can continue flowing down to the wick that's wrapped around the coil. So there's less chance for it to burn because the coil is only exposed to a very small part of the wick, of the fillers. That's what makes it different. Okay, That's why they don't burn. That's why they seem to last longer because just the way the coil is only exposed to a very small portion of the filler there's less chance for it to burn. And because the juice can continually flow down, it doesn't have to flow through layers to get to it. It just flows down to it. Now, you can even see it even more if we look at this is a CE2. And the reason I wanted to show this to you is because it's the same kind of thing. Okay, now if you look inside, you can see your coils heating up. Okay, and basically the way this works is you have a little wick, and this would be the same on the clearomizers that we use. You know, the ones that we get from Smokeless Image? Well, basically you have that coil, it's wrapped around this wick. So when you have our clearomizers like these, that wick sits down in the juice. Well, when you have the cartomizer, you have this filler is wrapped around that wick so that the filler keeps it wet. Well, this coil here, which is just a coil, that's all that it is. It's not exposed to anything other than that little piece of wick. It's the same thing that's in the bottom of your smokeless image cartomizer. You can see it's very similar. So basically, all these smokeless image cartomizers are, it's the same thing in here, but it's got the, fit, the filler instead of having just loose juice in the middle. That's what makes them so different. That's why they're so unique, and that's why they seem to last longer. They seem to last longer because they do, because they don't melt as easily. So, guys, that's my video. I just wanted to give a brief explanation of what makes them so differently, so hopefully you can make a good decision. Um, you know, you can go out and use any other cartomizer on the smokeless image batteries, that is, so long as it's 808, but understand what the difference is and why the smokeless image ones always seem to end up lasting longer. Um, for those of you who also, by the way, did see my video on the clearomizer test where I tested it with the highly acidic juices, 
this is this is, it's been about a week now this is that same one that I clouded up with the 60% acidic flavoring juice and it does still work it didn't cloud up anymore it never cracked and it still has juice in it it still works like a charm Smokeless Image did an incredible job on this and that's one thing that I like about Smokeless Image is the fact that they are always trying to make sure they've got the best possible products for us so guys that's my video if you have any questions please go ahead and leave it down in the comments box if you like the video hit the like button for me and until next time guys happy vaping